Over 61 million home-based workers in South Asia and countless others from across the globe make our daily lives possible. It is their hands that make the food that we eat and the clothes that we wear. They ensure our health and our harvest. It is their handiwork that adorn our homes and that add a breath of fresh air to them. Home-based workers are cultural guardians. Generation after generation, their toil at the loom weaves together colorful yarns and threads that make for resplendent yardage. They fashion beauty from metal and etch designs perfected over centuries into wood. The precision of their needles pattern the fabric that adds sparkle to our weddings. The nimble work of their fingers craft beadies from leaves. From forest barks, they spin the thread that entwine communities in the rituals of life and death. Home-based workers in South Asia are often women. They live in cities and villages. They work but are never recognized as workers. Their deft hands are declared unskilled. Their labor, a lost cause. We demand our rights. For generations, women home-based workers in South Asia have together raised their voices for their rights. This vibrant movement took root in the 1970s in India. SEVA, the world's first and largest trade union for women informal workers, began organizing these hidden workers and even coined the term home-based workers. Another important uh, matter that we have to take up is networking. The issue of home-based workers is not confined only to one place. It's not only Ahmedabad, it's not only Gujarat. It's in fact the whole of India, all over India, in all the places there are home, work, home workers, home-based workers, doing different types of work. But the issues of all are the same. Not only is it a national issue, but it is an international issue. From there, home-based workers have gathered together, bound in unity, solidarity and sisterhood to create a vibrant and inspiring movement. They have worked together to achieve the International Convention 177 on Homework. Their united front has established commitment towards their welfare from governments in South Asia. Over 900,000 organized home-based workers and their representative organizations have also come together to form the HomeNet South Asia Network. From Ahmedabad to Kathmandu, to Dhaka to Karachi, to Colombo, Mali, Thimpu and beyond, women home-based workers have marched together towards a better future, where they are recognized as workers, as contributors to the economy and their families, and as the torchbearers of South Asia's cultural heritage. We are one.